I'm Max Balagde. And I am George Clark. Woo! Crowd goes wild. Woo! And welcome to the useless hotline on the road. Wow. We're on the road. We're on, we're currently on tour, which is why we're here. Um, yeah. If you can see us, audio listeners, we are on a bus. Our audio listeners, we're still in the office. <laughs> um, we're on our tour bus, and it is what day three of tour. It is day three of tour. Belfast, Dublin, done. Glasgow, you're up next, pals. Hope you're ready for it. Uh, we are currently in Glasgow. We've just traversed cross water from we started in Belfast went down to Dublin went back up to Belfast to get to Belfast Port oh, across yeah, to did. Scotland which if you ask me makes no sense um, but we are now in we are now in Scotland uh, Max is this is the first time him seeing the Isle of Scott because is. he uh, had a bit of a dicky tum this morning should we, should we go all the way back to the very beginning of course Kay. so uh, Max's got... mum and dad fell in love <laughs> They, uh, they, they, they he then put divorced. His, he put his dicky in her chum, uh, oh. and oh. Max came out. Oh, sorry, I skipped a bit there. Yeah. Uh, then Max was born. 15, 6, 18, 17, 17 years if later. If you can't tell, by the way, guys, Max came out. Um, George kind of, yeah, I, I'd say that there's, after spending time with you um, over long periods of time, I would say that you go through certain cycles. Like when you first get there, you're still a little bit normal. And like, you know, you have like normalish conversations and then every now and again, yeah. you have what I describe as a flare up. Yeah. And then a few days in, it gets to a level where it's just flare up after flare up of like something's in George's head. For context, um, a song was just playing that um, George chose to play maybe what probably probably a good few, well, 10 times i hadn't seen max in a while in. so i thought it was just a nice walkout song for him because he was his well, what's the song what does the song say I, Go on. I don't know the lyrics i'm not very oh, good okay. with lyrics. Well, well you sung them to me last night while i was sleeping <laughs> yeah yes he did he do did. you remember that? yes i do actually yeah I don't um, think that sounds like something I'd do. The song uh, that's like going around TikTok that goes, I'm going to lick your ass tonight. I played it at the very beginning of the tour. So what, like well, three, three or four days Max ago. Max claiming the song as if he was the first person to find it. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but then it clearly triggered something in that little George Clarkey little like flare up side of his brain. And now days later, he repeatedly says it over and over and over again. Uh, which is good that fair, we're contained to this, this bus. Was, if that was in public, that would be a bit that alarming. That was the first time I said it today. Actually was. Technically, no, because you sung that to me at like two in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> but no, like, th- we slept between then. For context as well, we're on the tour bus. Um, last night, we got in from some, like, drinks, and Callum went to his bunk. And George, you'd ordered some food, hadn't you? Yeah, with big Maisie. time. And as soon as he ordered it, it said that it was going to come in an hour, which I found it hilarious. It was ridiculous. I don't know how it... <laughs> We were also existing in a car park. Like, our home oh. was a, a car park. I so. couldn't get the delivery <laughs> details. It, the, the place didn't have... What's Firstly, Ireland, what the hell's wrong with you? Where are your postcodes at? Mm. It asked me for a postcode. I'm like, brother, they don't no, have no, them It here. asked you for an air code. It asked, no, it asked me for a postcode, but then you said they air code. They don't exist thing. here. Well, it, 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 the place didn't even have an air code. I how put that they, in. And it how do they know where they are? I, I eventually just used current location so many times that it went... All right then, fuck it. We'll bring it to you. Um, oh, little. Oh, there they are. You might be able to. You might be able to see. Uh, that's Keith and Tom. Yeah, I don't think they'll be. Tour manager. They will be no. in the wide. Surely, in the wide when oh, they. No, it's when not they well, well enough down shout the out, shout out Keith and Tom. Anyway, right back to the beginning. Oh, we flew um, to Belfast. Please come back. Um, we flew to Belfast. We did. It was me, you, Maisie, Charlie. Yeah. Um, Callum was driving up with Tom, our sick tour. Tour manager. Tour manager. There you go. Um, on the bus. And Keith. Merch and manager. Keith, yes, Picked up Keith manager. the merch guy on the mm-hmm. on the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he. You might not know as Keith the merch guy. He might he's he's more widely known as Quasi Keith. Yes. <laughs> on the first <laughs> on the first <laughs> night was that after the Belfast show? Um, what was after when the you sat when we were ordering pizzas? Bear in mind, Keith. At this point, I mean, I've now had some good deep chats with Keith, but up till yeah. this point, we didn't really know much about Keith other than the name. He's, he, he was called Keith. Well, we were introduced to him. We were all sat on <laughs> me, you and Maisie were sat on your bed. On my bed. And we'd not met Keith yet. Uh, and you just put the, the stairs go up to the door to Max's room. He's got a full on bloody boudoir suite. Indeed. They mm-hmm. just, it popped his head up from the stairs. He just went, 
I'm Keith. <laughs> um, none of us questioned, who is this man? Why is he on our tour bus? We all just went, oh, hi, Keith. Hi. He was Keith, though. He didn't it lie. Was, uh, do you know what? He was fully telling the truth. Yeah. So good on him. Um, yes, yeah, so we did Belfast. Well, we got yeah. to Belfast. Yeah. And then we had a night out on the town, didn't we? Well, they took the bus. We took the plane. So we got to Belfast. Faster. Oh, well, fast. Oh, okay. That works better. We only yeah. got in at like one in the morning. Yes, you did. Whereas we got it. It took us like a like 45 minutes to fly yeah. here or something. Um, we went to Thirsty, Thirsty Goat. Goat. Filthy onion. No, uh, it's stinky, dirty onion. Dirty rotten. Uh, stinky dirty. Horny onion. Her- herpes onion was next door. We didn't yes. go there. No, we didn't. Then we went down Cathedral Quatter. Yes, that's basically where we were. Yeah. Um, very lovely people in Belfast, mm. but speak their mind is what we found out. Oh my god, yes. I'm so glad that you brought that up because I completely forgot how many times in Belfast we got violated. <laughs> but like in a nice like. It, did, it wasn't said in a mean way it was like it was just like a flippant comment that they not realized <laughs> that was actually like quite mean they essentially just speak their mind in belfast from what mm. we've heard our first instance of realizing this was we got asked to go and do an interview with the belfast telegraph and on the way there we got a taxi to said telegraph place yeah um and the guy was like so why you do the accent what do you say what, oh. do you, what are you doing here in belfast Oh, are you down here in Belfast? Yes, very accurate, except probably even more difficult to understand. Oh, I know about Belfast. Yes, that's it. Um, to which I responded, because I was sat in the front, I was like, oh, we've got a podcast, and we're touring all around the UK, and this is our first stop. And then what did he say? He said, what did he say? He said... He uh, went, oh, oh, how the world has changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, how the world has changed. <laughs> and then just said nothing after that. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I was there like, oh... <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, but then he he perked up when you when you were like, what? What's that spike? Oh yes, yes, because it was a big spike. Yeah, and then he started telling us all the different sites. But he actually didn't know what the spike was for. No, it was just, oh, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Oh, that site runs here. Oh, well, oh, fish. Oh, well, Earth quarter. Oh, you know, more Titanic. Honestly, yeah, sure you are. That is so accurate. I can't even tell you. Like he's not even <laughs> taking the piss. Wasn't like, the spike in Dublin, not Belfast? No, no there was two. There's, there's that's one in Belfast. You're thinking as well. of the Dublin spike. <laughs> oh, okay. So. We're talking about Belfast spike. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we did our interview with the Belfast Telegraph. Yeah. Played some fun Irish, Northern Irish games. Had some like tasted some foods and stuff like that. Indeed. And we're like, oh, this is this is going really nice. And it was a, a boy and a girl who um, fell in love. Are and we allowed to say this by the way? Because yeah, yeah, it, 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 it wasn't even that deep. It wasn't even that deep. Yeah. Right. Um, and then after, so the guy was like the photographer, and he was really lovely. Mm-hmm. Like said, he didn't have a fucking clue who we were, which we didn't expect anyway. So said it was, he it was nice. Me at the end. Yes, he did. He, well, he, he grabbed you and he said that he felt like he'd met uh, you somewhere. Oh, I met you before. <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, pal. <laughs> and then this girl who was obviously the one that had asked for us to come and do this. Mm. Um, and she was like having a great time with us. And then we did, we maybe spent what, like two hours there or something? An yeah. hour and a half? Yeah, maybe. And then as we were leaving, she just randomly decides to tell us another example of Belfast people <laughs> just be brutally honest. She just goes, oh, by the way, he said that no one would even know who you were and that no one would care. <laughs> and we're like, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks for sharing. That's things that we usually either say in our heads or behind people's backs. But I thank think, you for I letting think us it was, know. Uh, in, in there, uh, I think it was <laughs> once she left, she would probably be like, oh, I probably should have said that. Yeah, but it, we just it was, found it hilarious. It was like a, what, just trying to, you, we're at the bye stage, like just, Bye. Like yeah. you need to just sort of fill something and then yeah. you realise what you've said afterwards. I think she meant it in a way of like, I really care about you guys, so I was fighting for yeah. you to come and do this. But it came off as in like, Oh, we're just trying something new, see if anyone gives a shit about you <laughs> <laughs> Which is, is so funny and we all were just like laughing so much in the lift. <laughs> and then yeah, we decided to go out for a few drinks. Oh, we yeah. go to um this bar in the cathedral quarter, that's yeah. what it's called. And the guy behind the bar who's serving me is like, oh, hi, I, I recognize you. He's like, I, was oh, like, I watch your podcast. Yes. He was like, I, wa- I was listening to it this morning. That's what he said. He was like, I was listening to it this morning. And then he goes like, oh, wh- why are you in Belfast? I said, oh, well, our podcast is on tour. Like, this is our first stop. Yeah. And they went, oh, I, I didn't get tickets. And then he goes, well, I didn't even try, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> so and I didn't even, I was just like, oh, fair enough. 
Fair enough. It's just, at this point, I was like, so then we started to make a list of ways that people were violating yeah. us. And I swear that we added something in Dublin um, yesterday. Yes. What happened in Dublin? Something depot happened. I've asked Charlie to send me the list, but yeah. I don't know what what, what happened. Uh, yeah. Charlie Charlie wrote it down. We'll get back to this later. Um, but yeah, so then we was in Cathedral Quarter, and we had a hen party, didn't we? Yeah. That took a liking to us. Yeah, no, they... Uh, they they were they were lovely people yeah that was ca not a bad word to speak about them. no where everybody was <laughs> overwhelmingly nice if they weren't being accidentally horrifically i rude. think we <laughs> just we just weren't very drunk yes we weren't drunk because callum put us under strict instructions to not get yeah. annihilated i did with a chastity <laughs> belt on our and mouth you absolutely <laughs> violated them <clears throat> we only had three or four drinks each maybe yeah and did that stop you from throwing up the next morning max no it didn't but i think that there's something deeply wrong with me but i mean we're gonna get to yeah, that yeah there is we know that <laughs> right didn't need those quick responses though guys um but i yeah we we had some drinks and then one girl who like kept getting us drinks didn't she you told me after the fact that she <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah so she... i wait for context on this trip, I think I've discovered that I'm a little bit more germophobic and like a bit health conscious than the average person. Yeah, like so... we were we were talk we were talking to our tour manager about the meet and greets, and then <laughs> he said, even though he's he's in the star bedroom as he likes to call it with his <laughs> with his double bed, hey, got his I ensuite. Didn't, I all didn't this, call it that. You did. He, he's he's non-stop going on about it, all this sort <laughs> of stuff. And then the first question he asked the tour manager about the meet and greet is. What's the policy on hugging? <laughs> well, I'd heard from people. I'd heard from... It was actually Michelle Visage. Shout out Michelle Visage. Who told what me this. What the hell's that? It's her person. Do you know who... Oh, Michelle Visage. Michelle Visage is a... Michelle first name, Visage. You don't know who Michelle Visage is? Of course you don't. Course oh, my God. Wouldn't. Oh, George, you're the worst. You really what are the worst. hell is a Michelle oh, Visage? I'm sorry. I, I live in a world where people just know who Michelle Visage is. And it makes me sad that you don't. But I also understand why you wouldn't. Sounds however. like a name for like a... Vagina. I mean, not far off. Not far Get off. Get your Michelle Visage out. Yes, yeah, I'm sure that she would like that, to be honest. Um, but she is basically this like big celebrity, and I I shot a campaign with her uh, like a month ago. Ooh, and name drop. And so oh, nobody knows. <laughs> everybody knows Michelle. Vis Shut up. Knew oh that my again. God. Um, and she basically said to me that like when she does um like they Only have these fans. like conventions and stuff oh. that she does she Close. has like a policy to not like hug people because every time that she does it and she has to travel she gets sick because obviously being around like on this tour for example we're <laughs> having like it's like over like 400 people or 500 people that we're going to have meet and greets 400 people okay thank you um <laughs> and then i think like if you come into contact with 400 people yeah. you're bound to get sick and then what if you can't do a show um, but then I realised, like, right, just get over yourself and just, like, you know. I always, whenever I he's, meet he's people, I such always a, He's them. so humble. He's such a trooper. I just he didn't want to get sick. He said, do you know what? Fuck it. I don't care if, I, if this is going against the grain. I'm going to hug some people at a meet and greet. And Shut I said, up. Max, you're a better man than I. <laughs> I'm going in there with a hazmat suit on and I'm <laughs> just shaking their hand with a stick because I don't want to get anywhere near these people. We said, no, George. I'm meeting and greeting. Well, what I did was I just brought hand sanitizer and I thought, do you know what? And I... after every single person pops a little squirt on his hands. I don't do that. That and is not true. He says, wait, does, does his hands and then goes, proceed. <laughs> it's not normal <laughs> within two weeks to come into physical contact with 400 people. Unless well, you, you mean when, when I was single. single. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that was great. Um, but yeah, so I just had a bit of a phobia about that. But then got over it. Everyone's been really lovely and yeah, looks and very clean. clean. Yes, Thank looks you. very clean. Yeah. So it's been a good time. Um, we sent Callum a video on our Belfast night out of yeah. me pretending to be sick but yeah. pouring a beer uh, because we wanted to scare him and it didn't work. No, no. I saw straight through that. Oh, God. Look That's it's it. amazing you get an 8 out of 10 for effort, though. <laughs> it was actually Charlie's idea. I mean, that makes more sense. Charlie is a very very interesting mischievous person character. um but yeah so then we woke up and we saw a toy bus for the first oh time oh my god we did so cool and crazy it is actually really cool and crazy yeah both of the above yeah and for context i don't know if we spoke about this already on the podcast that i've got the double room 
um, yeah, we, have we. We would have done, yeah. Well, so, yeah, we know the story behind it. George um, graciously offered me the double bed. He said, no, yeah. Max, I want you to live in comfort. I just, like, I know that you are, like, the brains behind the operation. So, like, if you don't get a good night's sleep, I will flounder on stage yeah. and the show will just get terrible reviews. That's how it went, more or less, isn't Pretty it? Much. What, I, what I remember, I've just remembered I said, when, oh, we, okay. when you first got in your double bed and yeah. we're all in there, um, and you're like, oh, this is actually so like so lovely. Like, I, I, it's, I unbelie- it's, unbelie- it's way better than I thought it would be. And mm-hmm. um, I remember being like, okay, so how long? It wasn't a question of who's going to be the first person to moan. It'd be <laughs> how long will it take for you to moan, <laughs> even though you've got the best thing. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> you've just been ill ever since. And be like, oh <laughs> God, it's so horrible at the back. <laughs> I'm right above the axle, <laughs> and whenever we go around any turns or bumps, I was airborne. <laughs> I was literally airborne. Right. I. That's do you know what? I like to be forthcoming with my emotions, and I thought, oh my god, as soon as we got, as soon as we got onto the the bed that uh, the coach that first night after the first show. I sat in my bed and I was like, this is going to be so luxurious. Yeah. And then the coach set off, and I was like, whoa, this is fucking mental because me being everybody else is in the middle of the bus so like right now we are at the front of the bus and this sort of area is the same size as my bedroom that's at the back of the bus and if you're in the middle of the bus you don't feel the movements of the bus as greatly as you do if you're at the Mm. front or especially the back and i was there in my bed literally getting twatted from side to side absolutely this is over and over again i promise you i promise you at one point i shit you not my entire body lifted up off the Didn't mattress. Happen. See, I want to see this to believe it. I can't. Oh happen. my god, we'll sleep with me tonight, Callum. You've you did <laughs> you oh, yeah. I not fully promise you. I promise you. The, oh my god. Even just then when we were driving, I woke up from like getting twatted about. I promise you, and all that I did, bumps. all that I did was say it didn't really impact my life that much. I just said that, oh yeah, because we were like, how did you all sleep? And I was like, oh, I was a bit all over the place, you know. No, 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 no. You text the group while you were getting twatted around. Yeah, saying, yes, I did. Is anyone else <laughs> getting thrown around like a rag doll? Well, because I thought surely you guys are probably in obviously less comfortable beds than I am. So if you're getting twatted around as much as I am right now, you must all be living oh, in, in hell. In about a third of the space of your bed as well. No, half. It's, it's less than half. No. Yeah, it's less than half. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a single bed and a double bed. Yeah, but that's not how... It's not just... like it, 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 <laughs> Why is it called double then if it's not double the size? But there's there's double beds and then there's like queens, kings. And all you think that that I'm is a saying, queen I'm not or saying king that's what bed? It is, but there's... But it's, there's I it's, say not, it's, it's not as standard as single and double. That, I'd say that is a double bed. Yeah, that but that's, that's, that's bigger than... We're measuring it. We're measuring it later. We literally, I'm literally happily. Do I'm, that. I'm so up for measuring. I got a feeling Max is right. You know. Yes. Why would they? Because the width of our that? bunks is not that skinny. Okay, but either way. Thank you, Callum. Either way. No, either way, I'm right. So. Either way, you've got twice the amount of yeah, room. Yeah, no, for real. To oh yeah, 100. percent To be able to deal with slightly swaying a bit. But it's not slightly swaying. This is my point. It's getting literally twatted about. So. That was my all that I said was, is anybody else going through this? And nobody replied. Guess why? Because they were all sleeping no, happily in we the did. beds. No, we I replied. Definitely there was about, replied. No, I think I replied. I think everybody <laughs> replied. What, what are you, you about? Honest, about? I don't, I don't really remember. Season. I was just this hoping. That see, this is Max just yeah. trying to <laughs> exaggerate his point again. Well, <laughs> Where is it? I don't know if you replied. We did. We definitely did. Hundred million on the percent. night. Yeah. yeah. Is the definitely. bus jumping around crazy for anyone else, or is it just because the star room is at the back? This is exact <laughs> words. Jeez. Uh, and then Cal said immediately after it's moving a bit. Uh, our tour manager said it's just for you, kiss. And I said <laughs> I think you notice it more because your body is the consistency of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I do and remember that. And then you that. said I am a human bean bag. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. I remember it well. Um, so yeah, all all that it, all that it led to is that I can't really sleep whilst the bus is moving and unless then I've threw had up the next day. Oh no, that was the that was, that was, you were yes, even on the bus yet? Yeah, sorry. So we stayed in a hotel after our, our night out in yeah. Belfast, didn't we? And then on the way to see the the bus for the first time, it was parked opposite our hotel. I got outside with Maisie, and I got so excited. I like went yay, and then I went, oh my god, I'm actually going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I had to run into an alley and vomited everywhere just before getting onto the tour bus. <laughs> this mere, what, like, mere, like, when did we the thing come up about uh, you not being what? a 
your immune system being fine or whatever. When was that? Uh, when I when I said, are we are we hugging people or is there like oh, rules yeah. about so it? So that was that was after you did this. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, Cal was like, oh, have you got like a particularly bad immune system or something? And then Max was like, no, I think I'm just, <laughs> I think it's just a bit pathetic. Or <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just then, a bit weak. I probably <clears> said. Me and went you uh, shut up you're always ill like what are you even talking about i don't know if i'm always Ill. i just don't do well under like what lack is... of sleep i think when i don't have a lot of sleep my body's response is to get sick max is 25 years of age and 25 has five years young morning and night pills in a little pill box mm -hmm. labeled with each day of the week oh, I and also his <coughs> do you really have <coughs> yes are you he does years old? i take <coughs> seven seven tablets in the morning for different things they're all vitamins and like uh what are they call vitamins and you've got like a fruit pastel in there yes I have. Got, it's um... so good it's a gummy a collagen gummy wait you so take gummies like. every morning yes um and he what else have you got yeah your, fr so your I have front fish, your fish front liver. portion of your bag is basically a pharmacy 100 percent. i i never go anywhere without at the minimum rennie's paracetamol and maybe even emodium just so that i don't shit myself if that ever was to happen i get so paranoid about something like that happening that i want to have things you know ready just in case they do there's nothing worse than trying to go to sleep and you've got heartburn and you can't sleep and you think oh i wish i had rennie's luckily i've got my walking pharmacy yeah I'm but so someone that someone that does that and has a constant fear of having heartburn etc etc mm -hmm. wouldn't normally go yeah, I reckon I've got a pretty strong immune system. Okay, well, maybe I don't. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah, so I vomited, and then we got to the bus. We did the bus tour, yeah. which was really riveting. Yeah. Um, and who, guess, oh my gosh, and we found out that other people that have stayed in the same bed that I am in on this tour oh, bus. Oh, yeah, no, the, the other, yeah, the, the other stars of the show. Yes, our, our driver told us, <coughs> Peter K. Garlic bread. Peter K had it for a year. Peter K had it for a year. A whole That's year. why there's a dent in it. <laughs> so, what's he called? Why have I Johnny Depp. Name? Johnny Depp. <laughs> what the hell? He remembers Peter K, but not Johnny Depp. <laughs> and Lady Gaga. We only found this out yesterday. Lady that is Gaga. Fucking mental scenes. Do you reckon and they moaned about the bed? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit wobbly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can add Max Belegde to that list of A-listers. <clears throat> like, mm. how crazy is that? That is just... Oh, oh my God. Max Belegde's genuine pillbox was on this bedside <laughs> do table. Do you think that the driver will be telling people... I was, I was just about to ask that. Do you Did think you know? when no. people in the future ask who stayed on this, Are the you driver joking? will say you? Do you he has really no idea he is he has now. No idea. <laughs> Even this morning, I, I basically, I vomited this morning as well, and I had to run downstairs to the driver and um, ask him if he could pull over. And Maisie was like... Um, Maisie then went downstairs and he was like oh were you the one that wanted to come and I was like no 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 he was like well, well, someone someone wanted to come so we don't have a fucking clue who we are which again we don't expect but I have introduced myself but, several that, times that's quite funny because <laughs> in that story it wasn't a case of being like oh it was a different person that per other person in that scenario was a girl oh yeah I don't <laughs> think he I don't think he thought that I was Macy <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, so then we did, yeah, slept on the bus. Oh no, we did our first show, Belfast. Mm -hmm. What thoughts? Good. Sticky. Yes. Smelly. Mm, not Smell the people, fast. not the people, yeah. the place. Um, <laughs> the venue that we had for our Belfast show is a, a nightclub usually. And yeah. usually hosts like punk rock and roll, like bands and like at a push. Shows, yeah, like comedy shows. Um, so when we walked in, it instantly smelled like beer didn't it beer and sex no yeah. it's just like it smelled like rock and roll baby it did it uh, did and then we were just about to rock up with our bright pink and blue podcast mm, yeah didn't really fit but no um the people were loving it like yes. they were having the best time you were great belfast thanks for coming it was so much fun to the point where our like the security team at the venue had to go up to callum and they were like do you want us to like like sort these people out because yeah. they're getting very rowdy uh, to which Callum was like, no, like, they're fine. They're all, like, 18-year-old girls. Like, they're not going to yeah. storm the stage. Or maybe they would. What would you have done if someone stormed the stage and was, like, and, like, tried to kiss you? What would your reaction have been? Um, this is Sparta. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd, uh... I'd just... I'd say... N please don't. Mm. On that. 
I have a real fear, and I don't know if I should say this on the podcast because I feel like it's going to manifest it. Maybe we can if edit it. If it manifests, no, please, the smallest amount of editing, please. Okay, so right, right, out. right. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. I'll tell you all later. Um, but yeah, so that was amazing. <coughs> Belfast, we loved it. Yeah. Um, they were a great crowd. We were cheering, and then after the show, yeah, th- a lot of people hung outside our tour bus. They did, and our dressing room was actually looking over where our tour bus was. So George started to play music out of his. So I, as I, as you know from the podcast, me and George <laughs> speak about Pitch Perfect from time to time. So I explain to them what you did, George. So I uh, put <laughs> I put on the we turn the lights out, and then I put on this song. Uh, from Pitch Perfect 2 Flashlight uh, Flashlight Yeah I and look around me We wanted to We house. wanted it to be Exactly like when All the Bellas of the past mm-hmm. uh, Lit up <laughs> So we were in our windows With our flashlights <laughs> Playing that sp- out The speaker and, out the window And then they got Their flashlights out <laughs> yeah. And we're like swaying them and it was so much fun. And then we just kept it was getting told. Literal, literal chills. Honestly. It was. It was crazy. It was so good. This and was just after Cal had told us <laughs> not to keep interacting with them because yeah. otherwise we're not going to be able to get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and then we started to play High School Musical. Yeah. And then we got my Simba Teddy, hung yeah. it out the window and played Has a life. Yeah. 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 Um, it was just a great time. It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, and then we got on the bus and we head off on to Dublin. Down into Dublin. Down into Dublin. Um, what else did we do? I mean, yeah, we learned. We sat around. And you were we fine got... that night, though, sleeping, I was right? fine. Um, no, I couldn't sleep until we got to Dublin. But I got to sleep at about 3 a.m. Yeah. Went to bed at, like, 12, got to sleep at, like, 3 a.m. But, like, that was fine. I just slept till like, 10 or something. So, yeah. like, seven hours. Um, but then, yeah, Dublin. We got to Dublin. What did we do? We d- Oh, that was the um, when we were in, like, a car park, basically. Yeah. No, we sort of wasted the day with sleeping and just chilling. Chilling. Yeah. yeah. Well, the interesting thing about like being on tour is like if you're in a tour bus, you don't obviously we I would never have thought of this beforehand, but you need to park somewhere where like you can refill the water tank, you can get rid of the piss tank and you can plug it into a power thing. So usually that is in like giant car- empty car parks next to like nothing. Yeah. That's just filled with other trucks. Well kind of normally we park like today and like belfast directly outside the venue because oh. they have power oh really oh, is that why we're here you see that building behind us yeah, yeah yeah that's the venue i knew that was the venue i thought we were just chilling to have a look at it no so. no so we're staying here <laughs> <laughs> we're, sli- we're sleeping here tonight we're sleeping here tonight oh my god the reason it. why sometimes we don't is because we physically can't fit this bus down in front of the venue right, or because yes. there's no power yeah, yeah. in whatever. dublin there would have been no chance yeah there was no chance it, yeah so that's why we will park somewhere else and then we have to ship ourselves over oh, there during the day wow, okay. then normally to fill up water empty the urine tank yeah. all that kind of stuff that will happen on the way to the next venue ah right interesting so we were just in a essentially a massive car park next, yeah. to, next to the dock of dublin with loads of shipping containers Big and um, that makes it extra funny that you tried to order a delivery to there <laughs> it worked it did work in the end it yeah. did work in the end it's quite nice as well um oh good i'm glad i'm glad to hear it um, um, and then we went to go and do our Dublin show. Yeah. What were your initial thoughts on Dublin? Uh, I thought, unbelievable crack. It's mm. a bit of a bit of a Irish slang there for you. Um, no, enjoyable. I've never been to Dublin before, mm. um, but I'm glad we went. Yes. It was a. Uh, it seemed. I mean, apparently it's quite expensive. We. I mean, we went to Temple Bar afterwards. That was quite yeah, expensive. Yeah, that was quite expensive. But, um, but also, like, kind of similar to London prices. So it wasn't. It didn't yeah. feel that crazy. I like. If, I feel like if I was, like, if I'd never been to London before, I would yeah. be like, "What the hell is going on?" Um, but we had a great time. No, it was enjoyable. The hell, of, hell of a venue you've got there for yourselves, Dublin. It was sick. What was it called? Shout out New Century Hall. No, Liberty Hall. Liberty, Liberty Hall. Hall. New Century Hall was Manchester. Okay shout out liberty hall um it was a very different venue to our first one yeah it felt like school trip sort of auditorium vibes yes like yes. i was about to go sit down and watch some sort of poem yes and the stage was bigger i don't know so how many we... times i did that at school but yeah i don't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> the stage was bigger so we had more room to like you know move around yeah and for context as well um we did briefly mention this on the podcast but at every show we no, sh- <laughs> This is coming out before other people have gone yeah. to their show. Oh, okay. Ah, well, okay. Have people posted it on stories and stuff. It doesn't matter. Mm. I, don't, I don't want them to. Fair enough. No, I agree. Okay. I agree. Fine. I don't there's want to a come surprise. The at the mouth. Of every yeah, show. there's a surprise at the beginning of every show. Let's just one say of that. us comes out with our flies undone. Ooh. 
And we wear no bockies when we play. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, bockies. <laughs> I didn't like that. Um, and then, yeah, so Dublin was great. I think the city... I mean, when we got when we went out in Belfast, yeah. it was very busy in the streets at like yeah. in the Cathedral Quarter. It was... Because it was... The uh, marathon. Bank holiday. Bank holiday. And apparently and that was a big thing. It never, I'd never known bank holiday to be like a. Yeah, right. Get this, guys. I don't know whether this is just a northern thing then, or like George is just like so posh that like he, he, he's never had a job in his life, so every day is a bank holiday or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I when I was explaining, like, bank holidays are a big deal. Like, people go out on bank holiday Sunday and it's like one of the biggest nights out. And, and he was like, why do people care? And I was like, because. Usually on a Monday you have to go to work, but you don't have it, so no, it's like I, celebration. I, yeah, but I agree with that. But why not do every Saturday? You don't have to go to work on Sunday. So what's the what's but the I think difference? people do go out on Saturdays as well. No, that yeah, is a normal yeah, night. exactly. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm. This is what I'm saying. I'm but very well aware of it. people go out on a bank holiday just because okay, it's a, a, just an exciting thing. For a second, just the the reason you gave for it being so big is because normally you you have to go to work on Monday, yes. and now you don't have to. So you can mm-hmm. go on Sunday. If you want to have a day that you don't have work on the next day, that's Saturday every week. So I don't know why it's like yeah, a big it, deal. Because it's every week. Whereas this is once in a blue moon. So it's and on a Sunday. Why is it? It makes no difference. Row, yeah, yeah, you can go, go out, out three nights in a row. Thursday you get... night. Well, if it's bank holiday with Friday and yeah, that's only once a year. Yeah, isn't to be it? fair. But you can go out Friday night, Saturday night. It is. And it's Sunday a big. Night. It's a big deal. If you like, you, you they, don't they have to go in on Monday. Then you're like, oh my god, we can go out on the piss for another night. Whoa, it's so much more fun. Oh my god, and it's Monday I, tomorrow. I, I, crazy. I, I, I get that. That's like a cool thing. Like, oh, we can go out on a Sunday. That's yeah. that's a bit different as opposed to last week we went out on Saturday and didn't go to work the next day. But like, why is it such a big thing where they were like, oh, it's, it wait, it's bigger than Christmas? Time. I kind of get what he's saying though. It's like I do kind of get it. I do, but also like I'm not explaining like the meaning of bank holidays or like why people. I don't get why it's just more exciting. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, oh my god, it's Monday and we can go out. <laughs> Like, that's the thing I said I don't understand it and you go I can't explain the reason but it's just a big thing but I'm it like, is oh, right, it just is a big thing and also lots of like clubs and bars do special things because it's like a, a bank holiday I don't know comment down below no, do I, you think that bank I holiday get, is I like get a that. thing like, it's, oh it's a, it's a bank holiday deal or no there's, there's yeah. this special deal on drinks and stuff but I wouldn't then go fuck biggest night of the year they've got two for one on Jager well, no, I, why, I why? <laughs> people were the reason why people in Belfast were saying that that p- specific day was bigger more people on the streets than at Christmas they said it's because it was the Belfast marathon that day and it fell on a bank holiday so everyone was in the centre doing the marathon Marathon and then went out to celebrate afterwards. Yeah, so that's why that makes it, more I, I sense. I don't think it's every bank holiday is bigger said, than Christmas. They said it's literally like the biggest, the busiest day of the year. Every yes, year. because it's the marathon and bank holiday yeah, at the mid, same time. We just don't understand how that. Well, we get it now because we went, so we lived it, and it was great. And people were in great, joyous spirits. And then, yeah, but like I'd say, the place of Belfast didn't have as like the wow factor of like or like the prettiness of Dublin. I liked the little street that we were dwinking on. Yeah, but that was like one street and then everything else was kind of like just normal. Whereas Aye. Dublin looks like it has the big river and the bridges and Aye. like the quayside. And I thought it just looked really pretty. I Agui. liked it a lot, yeah. Um, so then, yeah, Dublin show. That went down a treat. What's been your like wildest parts of the show, wildest memories from the show so far? The show? For me, I'll start to get your mind jogging. For me, I mean... In Belfast, there was that group of girls at, at the very front yeah. that no matter what we said, or would uh, I'd say some, uh, I'd be like, oh, you know, like, what about this? And they'd be like, fuck off, Max! Yeah! And they'd be like, and I was like, what? <laughs> and they just kept doing it. And then I realised about halfway through the show that these were girls who were at the meet and greet and were physically shaking because they were so timid and, like, nervous to meet <laughs> us. And then they'd clearly just been drinking for like the next hour heavily. Yeah. By the time we're on stage, it's like, whoa, fuck off you, wanker. Hey! And I was like, this is wild. That was enjoyable. Mm. Respect to them. Respect those gals. Mm. Um, it's my wildest. I don't think there's been anything. I can think of wild. something else that's quite wild that happened. What? Yesterday. Last night. Yeah. The dilemma. Yes. The oh, dilemma. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a girl. We- can we talk about a dilemma? Yeah. Or, or is the show a safe space where people can say stuff? I mean, it is, but like also, like, online. I think that they would even like it if we said it. We're not going to... Nobody would. will know who their names are. 
Wait, who, which one? Are, we might be talking about a different ones. I think we're talking about the right one. The one with, where we're they were obsessed with yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's fine. Do you reckon? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Oh, she fine. Go she got on stage in front of everyone. She is, right, so... But that is you're... different to being online, but go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so a, a female came on stage uh, with uh, For Our Dilemmas. You're right. Mm, I thought I heard rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, a female came on stage and uh, was telling us her dilemma and said she was obsessed with somebody online. Uh, and that person was me. Mm. <gasps> Woo! Uh, mm. But she was saying that she doesn't. Her boyfriend doesn't like it, or does? Well, or? so basically, she said, "I need help because I'm obsessed with this boy on the internet, and my boyfriend isn't best pleased about it." And then she went on to say, "He's my lock screen on my phone. Yeah, I watch him every single day. I talk about him all the time, and he's George Clark." To which, obviously, she's on stage with us at our podcast show. So yeah. we're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, this is so bizarre. And then she, and then I'm like, well, where is your boyfriend? Is he here with you? And she's like, yeah, yeah, he's over there in the audience. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is just so, like, intense. That was like, a fun intense. situation. Yeah, but she came over and then um, showed me her lock screen. And you know when you click on the screen? Yeah, I didn't even know it, that was a thing. Y- and you can change to the next lock mm. screen. It was about seven or eight different ones, but all of them were photos <laughs> of me. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is I don't know I maybe because I see you obviously as like not George Clark like I, you're just a person who's like physically in my life. Mm. I was like I think that people reserve stuff like that for like people like Johnny Depp who are like so unattainable. You just want to put yourself on the same level as Johnny Depp now. <laughs> you know, people have stayed in the star bed. <laughs> just no, I yeah I don't know why I, he was just on, <laughs> on the brain. Um, but I find it interesting when people like like fantasy like not necessarily well probably fantasize but like adore people like us or like you or something like to mm. that level when it's like you know it costs 20 quid to come and see you at a shot do you know what i mean no i understand it though. it's like um. <laughs> <laughs> but i find it very interesting and then yeah i said um i started to like take the piss what did i say oh my god yeah what i said um, oh yeah you were insinuating stuff you were not helping them well no i said Obviously, now we know that her boyfriend is also in the audience. I, like, waved at him and everything. And then I said, right, I have one question. And then I, like, couldn't stop laughing because I was, like, I knew what I was going to say and I knew that it was really bad. But I was, like, I have to say it now because otherwise people will be, like, what were you going to say? So I said to her, I was, like, have you ever fantasized um, about George whilst making love to your boyfriend? (laughs) To which her boyfriend was just there, like... (laughs) And then I was, like... And she was, like, bright red, like, what? Oh, my God, what? And I was like, oh, but then she got a picture with you for a new lock screen. Yeah. So you were very nice, very accommodating. <laughs> um, it was interesting. And someone came from the Philippines. Oh. Someone came from the they Philippines did. Yeah. to see us. We've had someone from Chris. the Philippines, someone from Canada. Canada. Yeah, Belfast. For the Philippines. Yes, to yeah. the yeah. Belfast show. Philippines, Canada. Someone from uh, was in Seattle and they've come back. This is just people from the meet and greets. But then I think surely they didn't travel just for this. Surely... No, but Maybe they I've were like, we'll do a big European trip or something, and we'll do that on the way. I think the Canada one said it just worked. Yes, because they were already planning to come mm. to London, and then I think they came from London, then did all of the UK, ended in yeah. Belfast, and then this was their last day, and then they saw that we added a Belfast day, and yeah. they were like, oh my God, perfect. Um, but in my brain, I'm going to pretend that they bought the flight just to come <laughs> and see us. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been wild, it's been great, and then we went out last night, didn't we? Yeah. Something keeps happening where, yeah, like, Temple um... Temple Bar. Woo! Temple Woo! Bar! We had some Guinnesses. Max sipped a Guinness. He's such a legend and a lad. I am. I'm such a legend and a lad. Yeah. Um, and we... Yeah, things keep happening where, like, we'll be somewhere. And I get it. Like, it must be bizarre, especially... I mean, we... I, especially me and like you we both have we have our podcast together but then we both oh. have like big followings like respective of each other is that right Ir- irrespective respectively respectively we both have our own like separate big followings mm. so like some people will like come over to me and they're like max oh my god tiktok max oh my god i love you like what what are you doing here and i'm like oh i'm, I'm here with my podcast they're like you've got a podcast yeah and i'm like that is so mad to me because like we do have a big group of people that obviously like watch and listen to our podcast yeah. um but like some people still just don't know well, so like, for example at the nando's when the girls came over and had a yes. photo with you and then the guy came over and had a photo with yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> it's so like wild to me, but we've like been around different places and people are genuinely baffled as like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, yeah. and I every time I'm like, well, we're on tour. And then they're like, what, why? Why are you coming to Belfast, what? <laughs> 
Another thing, everyone everyone hates their own city. Yeah, everyone. I don't know why. It's so bizarre. And we obviously can't be like, yeah, it's shit, whoa. Um, but like in, at the meet and greet, we'll be like, oh, are you from Belfast? Like we're really excited to be here. It's our yeah. first time in Belfast. Like, what? Yeah. Like why? <laughs> why? why? It's shit, what? And I'm just like, oh, bless Belfast. People were even saying it about Dublin. And I was like, Dublin seemed like a really big, like cool city. People even saying it about Dublin. What do you mean by that? Dublin's better than Belfast. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been, it's been a wild ride so far. And then, I... Uh, it all climaxed uh, last night <laughs> when mm. uh, Max couldn't handle his drink. Oh, oh, funny, funny that you guys are waiting for your, your bloody takeaways, Maisie and George. How about I go upstairs and go to sleep and then just puke in the middle of the night, you silly little sausage. Well, it wasn't the middle of the night. We, we slept, I, I probably got to bed like half twelve. Yeah. And you probably get to bed like one half long because you're waiting for your food to yeah. come to the car park. And then I like fell fast asleep immediately, was feeling great. And I yeah. knew that we were setting off at around half past seven to drive to Glasgow. So the second the engine turned on, because I think it must be like, is the engine at the back of the bus? Probably. Yeah. It literally like, I'm, I mean, I don't want to go into too much description because you'll accuse me of lying. Um, It roared like a lion um no it like it basically woke me up and i was like oh god like i'm awake whatever and then it started, i started to be like you know rolled around a little bit like flo- oh double, i did a somersault i did a backwards roll all of that cartwheel in bed and then slowly but surely i was like i am going to either be sick or shit myself right now like and i know for a fact one of the two is about to happen but i cannot leave the star bed uh, well, no. I can't do it to myself. You can't do it on the, the bus. The You're not allowed. The free bunks that are in the... <laughs> I can't, I'm not allowed to... I can't do that. I have to stay in the star bed and I just did endure it. I did contemplate going into one of the bunks and just shitting in the bunks and just leaving it there. Um... <laughs> But no, like, you're not allowed on a tour bus. You're not allowed to do a poo or, like, be sick. Basically, no solids down the toilet. Nothing beginning with oh, S. I don't know where you've got the be sick thing from. That's I could be sick. sick. I could have been sick. Well, if you're sick, you're sick. You've got to throw up, like... Yeah, but in the toilet, will it not clog it all? And then, like... It shouldn't do. It should be fine. But, like, if you're sick... Bro, if yeah. you're going to be sick, you can be sick. Yeah, the, the uh, reason... Or do it in a bin. A bin's probably the best place to do right, it. Right, okay, The reason they say the idea. shit stuff is because that's more... Solid. continuous between everybody right okay and... so if everyone did it yeah yeah exactly right okay and then it's hard to empty it from the bus okay well i have a confession to make max no i didn't do a poo in the toilet i didn't i didn't so i woke up this morning and i've not told any of you yet because it was it was one of the most traumatic experiences of my life and <laughs> i knew like i said i was either about to shit myself or be sick there was no in between uh, my stomach was churning every time that I moved and I ran downstairs to the driver and I said please can we stop at a, the, like, a services immediately as I opened the door to see it I saw literally the sign for a services as we passed it to which he replied we've got another 40 like 30 minutes until the next one like I'm really sorry I, I, I can't pull over we're not allowed to stop on this motorway I ran upstairs and I've never been so sure that I was about to shit my pants in my life <laughs> I grabbed Oh my god. Where did you shit? Oh what? my god. Let, let me Matt. tell the story. Let no, me tell the what story. the hell? Let me Where tell the story. have you shit in this bus? I grabbed one of the Ziploc bags that you get. No, in the no, you <laughs> no, fucking you... didn't. I want you to say it. And I did a shit in the Ziploc bag. <laughs> 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 what? Guys, it was Fuck either. I, I literally was like. <laughs> <laughs> I how, how how did you i held it open in the toilet it was flawlessly executed i'll let you know like flawlessly and then i double triple bagged it um wrapped it all in tissue and then as soon as we Where got there put it? it in the bin okay. at the at the guy it's not on the bus i right. i made sure that it was i cried i sat there did you cry? i cried <laughs> <laughs> oh, i've never felt God. as though oh my, like such star diva behavior <laughs> i feel like i breached triple ziploc bag in his shit before he <laughs> throws it in the bin <laughs> i feel like i breached my own human rights and then when i had to bring it to <laughs> <laughs> when i had to bring it to the services put it in the bin and then that that whole process made me feel like i was literally going to vomit because i was like i already felt unwell i've just done a shit in a bag 
I'm I'm tr- I'm so traumatized by this. Like, and this, now I'm holding a bag of and shit. I'm holding a bag of shit. Like, I'm having to put it in a bin. I put it in the bin, and then I realize, oh my god, that was a bag of shit. I'm like covering my hands in hand sanitizer as I'm running to the bathroom. I but Maisie's behind me, thinking I'm just need a casual toilet break. <laughs> I'm legging it from her. I'm like drenched in hand sanitizer. I burst the door open. My vomit splatters all <gasps> over the inside of like the services toilets. But not even in, in like a in the toilet, but like up the like back wall of it as oh, well. Oh, but, Max. Yes, guys, I've been going through it. I told you, I've not, I've not been in a good place. George, I've been in the star bed at the back of the bus. <laughs> you don't understand. If do you know what? It wouldn't feel like a star bed if I shit the bed. I'll tell you that much. It was. Oh well, I guess we should be thankful you shit in a ziploc bag honestly, and then threw up all over the back wall of a toilet. Honestly, though, like it was. Oh my god, it was just the worst morning and then Maisie was like oh no you'll be fine and I, I just wanted to say Maisie I just shit in a bag like I'm not have fine you not told no. her? no you actually haven't told me I've not yet. told anyone I wanted to save it for now I, <laughs> oh, okay, I, was, either gonna, yeah, I was either gonna I was either gonna I was either gonna take it to the grave or I was gonna say it in this <laughs> podcast there was oh, no oh, in between you were gonna tell no one or yes, literally or everyone, everyone in one yeah. go. and okay, I thought cool. do you know what I Mommy like to be transparent <laughs> I like to be transparent with our audience um but wow. that is why, and, and then, uh, yeah, we, we got on the ferry and I was just living in the shame of knowing that I <laughs> shit in a bag this morning. <laughs> and, and I also like those bags. Like, luckily, and how... how <laughs> what, hold on, hold on. Is that, that what you're really upset about? So you like useful. the bags? The Ziploc bags that they give you in an airport are so useful. I have, like, all my toiletries in them. And I had to make the decision there. I went into fight or flight mode, grabbed the bags, emptied every single one of them I out. I don't think that is what fight or flight means. I think it means fight or shite. Um, <laughs> it was literally the maybe the lowest point of my life i'm not joking this happened this morning. i'm not joking this was maybe the lowest point of my I life i love that in your head shitting in a ziploc bag re ziplocking it three times and then throwing it in the bin made more sense than shitting in the toilet i i i was under the impression that if one person shits in the toilet it's a whole thing like we need to clean out the entire system we need to do this we need to do that i didn't want to be responsible for everybody ha- being delayed doing something because i just needed a massive shit in the morning oh my god you could have just said guys i'm so sorry i've been so ill I nobody can't... was awake i was it was half past right, seven you, in the morning you'd have, to, you'd have to do it immediately afterwards to go tom tom i've just done a shit in the toilet you could just wait till everybody's i just didn't even want that in my life and i did i, I just thought i could well like i said i was contemplating taking it to the grave with me not the bag the the, the idea <laughs> <that> was... <laughs> but That's far oh. more dignified instead of going guys throw a shit in the toilet guys throw a shit in the ziploc bag yeah i have then... to say like bro you know what? if it's that bad just do it oh you better believe it now that now that i've seen yeah, but, this okay, reaction but, but don't do it every fucking yeah, don't, day no, I don't. it was because don't it was because i was the same attitude no i don't i don't challenge go <laughs> oh that's okay i'll just i guess i'll yeah oh, this yeah. this poo was really needed to come out guys i'm gonna have to do a poo now Shut up. no if, I, if you're if you're in that way again this was just go. this was the my bed was like mi- turn it was like my body was a neutral bullet and it was like churning everything the more that i like moved around <laughs> and oh. there was no option it was going to come out one way or the other that is a vile thought. i was literally uh, the bus was driving i i was i didn't know what to do i did not know what to do and i had it was adapt or survive at that point well played though I mean? that's good accuracy to get in the back honestly it you was so flawlessly executed such a drama queen it's ridiculous i did a shit in a bag what is dramatic about that i i, I literally it was life that or is, death that is literally what's dramatic about it but everything I, becomes so much more drama why i mean for me personally i kept it to myself i didn't i didn't involve anybody else in this trauma i just thought do you know what i'm gonna dispose of my shit myself i'm an adult i can do this and i cried about it alone in in the comfort of my oh, star that, bedroom that makes me feel sad no i only cried because i felt so ill do you know when you're like so sick that you're like oh my god no i'm actually like what if i die right here right now um, that's how I felt. So it was more like a cry of. It wasn't a cry I mean, of shame. It was a bit of shame. I'm not gonna lie. There was a bit of shame in there. <laughs> also, like, oh my god, why am I on tour and I feel this sick? Um, but yeah, that was that was what happened to me this morning. But now we're in Glasgow. How, how do you feel about it? I think I'm gonna shit all over this city. <laughs> oh, I d- I feel as though I shouldn't have said that, but do you know what? I, you can't just like just like when the the when it left my body and entered that bag. There's no putting it back now. Well, I, d- I think that goes whenever you do mm. a shit. There's no it putting depends. it back. It depends. You don't remember that one dilemma that we got? 
Oh no, 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 <laughs> God, no, no. Yeah, but the advice wasn't keep it up. Reuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh God, it was oh. so awful. It was so, so awful. But yeah, I feel positive about the fact that we're in Glasgow now. I made it across the ferry. Yeah. Honestly, today has been one of the most challenging days because I <laughs> have been in a, a constant state of nausea, sickness. We were on a ferry as well. I get very seasick and. I, I had to just lie down. They, they, we had this like bed, and luckily I got to lie down once everyone had had the it's showers. It's so funny in, on because ferry. any video else in this situation from like traveling or going on a ferry or something is sat in a car seat or sat on like a shit ferry thing. You're lying down on a double bed <laughs> in both of these places that you are getting. Guys, seasick. I'm obviously not well. It's not normal. We had like four <laughs> drinks, and I vomited a, a huge amount. Like, there's clearly a demon living inside of me that's trying to get out. Out. and one way or another by the end of the tour i'm gonna force it out um but yeah i've not been very well i just slept for like three hours so i'm feeling better now um and we've you've got, got a night in a hotel tonight yeah we've well. got chill night tonight so i'm ready and raring <laughs> to get my bowel movements back this on track. is what two days of sleeping in the bus <laughs> yes we go we've got 10 more days I just, not even the bus, but what, like seven, eight nights at least, probably? Yeah. Lack of sleep, I think, truly destroys my body. I think it makes me sick. Because, like, my throat is so sore. Oh, but that's from the vomit, though. It's like, oh, sorry, I'm going into too dis- much description. If you think it's sleep, then tonight, don't, let's not go out. You need to sleep then. Yeah. Well, what time do we leave in the morning? Oh, no, we're here tomorrow, aren't we're we? We're here tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I can go. If, if I can, like, sleep in a whole time, t- is it checkout 11? I don't know, but we, we can ask for a late checkout. But I'm saying, like, for, for the, the <laughs> I'm just not going to drink. I'm just not going to drink. Entire tour, like, you 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 just said you think lack of sleep will cause you this. Yes. Then you need to sleep properly, especially because yeah, yeah. you're you've got to catch up for the last few nights of sleep mm. and try and get ahead of it because the next two nights are five hour night drives. Oh. So that. That maybe way. for you, <laughs> just go back to the hotel and yeah. don't come out. Okay, I'll think about until it. like midday. Okay, I'll think. We'll see. Um. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. I'm loving my little bed. It do, They are comfy. I mean, the memory foam mattresses. Mm. It's just not a lot of space. It's just like half the space of what I've got, really. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're we're loving it. We're it's. I I think it's really cool getting to explore like different places and um, even just meeting We've, so many different people. We went nowhere in Dublin apart from Temple Bar, which is the most touristy place that's ever. Still, that's still exploring <laughs> it though. Like That's still fun. And we, we were only we there stayed, for a few hours. We stayed in what effectively was a trailer park for five hours. <laughs> went to our <laughs> went to our venue, then went to the most touristy place ever, went home, I you threw that. up everywhere and we left. <laughs> <laughs> I shit in a bag and we left. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I feel I don't know I feel like I I enjoy it I'm I'm, en- I'm having a great time. I'm also having a great time, but we can't kid ourselves that we've explored anywhere really at the moment. Okay, well, right. Well, we've not been anywhere. <laughs> we've not been anywhere. I've not seen Dublin. I've not seen Belfast. I'm uh, not even. I'm not even going to see Glasgow. Surely you saw, Bel- you you saw, see we saw yeah. bits of Belfast. Yeah, yeah, we went to the we went to the dock. We went to like all the big things. They were like, that's the big fish. That's what built Titanic. We saw the Titanic museum. We did everything. You're saying this like we went to these places. This is how those things happened. We we went to the Belfast Telegraph because that was on our plans. Mm. That was at the docks. Mm-hmm. You, they point, Still seeing the docks. They pointed out across the river that that was the Titanic Museum. Mm-hmm. We didn't actually go anywhere near it. They Still said, saw it. They said, that's that. We then got in a taxi back to the hotel, past the big fish. Love and we the went, big fish. We went, oh, that's probably the big fish. Mm-hmm. Saw the big <laughs> fish. He's made it out like we've been on this big day of sightseeing. No, I'm not saying that. We, we went, saw... We saw the big fish. We, went we to did. The, went to the Titanic Museum. Did we? We, that, well, we saw we, the Titanic Museum. We saw the big fish we went to the docks we saw the crane that built the titanic i know I think that that's a lot of history i'm saying it's the way that you said it we basically did like a you know the way you said it was worded deliberately well, would you to... say no it's not would you say if you do an open top rooftop tour or whatever they're called <laughs> open top bus tour that that doesn't count because you didn't touch each place that you went no that would count because well that's... what's different about our taxi because journey that, then that's called sightseeing oh no, i saw the sights but that the the, the sight say he's got a point the, yeah the, no but he, he, the, the thing about the Titanic Museum isn't seeing a sight. That's the, if you're saying we visited the Titanic Museum, that's I going inside that, and did going Did I say through. that we visited the Titanic Museum? You said saw. To saw. Be fair to you, yeah. yeah. See, fuck you, George. But again, you know what? Why the hell? We saw it. We saw it, and it was a big building. We saw it. <laughs> it's just I like saw a it. warehouse that we saw. It wasn't a warehouse. Did you not see it? Look, it was yeah. shaped like the ship. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. 
I don't believe that's true. I'm Googling it right now. It had like these big sales on it. It was like a really cool building. I'm pretty sure it was just like a big warehouse. Or I left no. I was looking at the wrong thing. See, you didn't see it because you don't pay attention, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Belfast. Let me search it. Titanic Museum Belfast. Yeah. Oh my god. It look it was sick. It literally was. Right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Still talking like you went in there. Exactly, this is what I'm saying. No, I'll show you how cool the building is. We saw you'll it from it. about 500 meters away. Yeah, that's seeing that site. I that's saw that site. Oh. Right, you can't see it, but that picture there is the entrance to the building. Oh, that is a cool building. It's, it's two icebergs and a ship going through it. I didn't see that part of it. Yeah, because you're uh, not paying attention. No, because they said seeing the sights. I remember that because they said we can't see because there was construction going on in front of it. <laughs> Question: If I fly over Everest, <laughs> yeah. can I say I I've saw vis I've Everest. Visited Ever Everest? Yeah. No, you didn't visit it. You saw it. But I said we that's, saw that Everest, site. Everest is different to a museum. A museum, if you say, "Oh, I saw," like seeing a museum is not true. The, true, it's true, not true, the, true. It's not the the thing yeah. that the museum is there for. It's Did what's inside. Everest? Yeah, yeah. I saw the Titanic Museum when I was in Belfast. I didn't go in it. I didn't see the contents of the Titanic Museum. <laughs> I saw the Titanic Museum. <laughs> I also saw the big fish. I also saw the big spike. And I went to Cathedral Quarter. You also saw for the me, surfaces as you went past. Yeah. But big, big difference there. Didn't use them. Which is, so which what? is what they're meant for. Say that again. So you had to shit in a bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, see? I still saw that services. Didn't, didn't utilize it. Couldn't. But did what I had to do. Um, no, I'm happy with what we've seen. Um, people also said like there's not much else to Belfast other than like what we did. So yeah, no, Bel Belfast we 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 saw we saw the uh, uh, we saw a few things. Um, yeah. We went to the Cathedral Quarter, but we Dublin saw, we didn't like really do much. the um uh like the Irish bars where like people were like singing and stuff, yeah. and they actually sang that. She is handsome. She is pretty. She is the belle of Belfast city, and I liked that. I did some Irish dancing. <laughs> Um, it was that was so funny. We walked in. He goes, "This is the coolest thing I've ever done." It was so it was cool. <laughs> we were in an I we were in Ireland. I'd never been to Ireland before. We're in Northern Ireland in an Irish bar with an Irish person singing that Irish song. I was like, "This is so cool." And it was really cool. George was like, was, "Oh no, yeah. no, it was." I said it was cool. You said, "Yeah, yeah but it's but not." It, it was, not I, the I think thing I ever you. It was, it, I remember what you said. It was like. I think I did say something like that. Yeah, you, you said something along the lines that made it sound like it was you doing something like this is the best thing I've ever done, or like something, yeah, maybe. something along those coolest lines. thing I've ever done, or something like that. Which, yeah. yeah, maybe a bit of an exaggeration. Um, but I mean, we've loved it. We've had, I've had a, we're, 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 I feel like a rock star on tour. It's weird. <laughs> done all the cool things the rock stars do. <laughs> shit thrown up at every opportunity. <laughs> shit in a bag. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to call my mum and explain this to her afterwards. Or shall I just reveal... Wait, when does this come out? I can reveal it at the Manchester show, can't I? It comes out on Sunday. Sat on Sunday. Oh, perfect. Okay, it's I can... a podcast. So you you can... know when this comes out. <laughs> you can reveal it in Birmingham on Monday. Oh, yeah. Well, no, actually, no. That wouldn't be revealing it. Everyone will know. Because they'll probably watch the episode. Shall we just... I, I mean, I'll, I'll talk just... about it in the show. No, we'll talk about it in London on yeah. Saturday. Okay, great there idea. Great idea. And wait, shall we just not tell anyone else as well so it's a surprise for them oh, maybe oh. actually is that fun yeah, that could yeah. be quite fun don't tell anyone mm. i love how we're planning it's like a gender reveal how do we <laughs> and if you can get backstage you take charlie's camera and record him and Maisie's yeah reaction. okay yeah 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 yeah. i'll make sure they're backstage yeah, uh, yeah. we'll like figure I out when we're gonna not do just it. do it tomorrow night in glasgow no let's do it london okay then fine bigger audience will be funnier okay right <laughs> more traumatic brilliant yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, what else? Is there anything else that stands out to you that we've done, or have, do you think um, we've covered all the bases? I mean, we've really dragged out two days of at <laughs> all <laughs> here. Yeah. Um, no, it's been good fun. Mm, I've I'm had a great time. Enjoying it. Yeah, but we're literally just getting going. Yeah. Mm. How many days left? Eight, seven shows left. We've ten got days left. Seven shows left. Yeah. Ten days. So we got. No, it's like twelve days left, I think. No, ten. Is it? So if, if you take the out the one. day off. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, ten. Yeah. From tomorrow, we've got three shows in a row, back to back. Oh my god! Glasgow, Manchester, London. Wow. That'll be the toughest part of the tour. Yeah. How do you feel thinking about that? How do I feel thinking about that? I think I need to get some like Rhino tranquilizer to make me go to sleep or something, so that I just power through. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. All that we can do is base my ba base my choices off <laughs> recent experiences. <laughs> 
it's the fact he's going through the hardest time yet has it the best off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's so funny. I just you can't called sleep. it at the start. But the person that's going to have the most trouble here is going to be the one that is in Guys, the I room that he you that. repeatedly calls the star bedroom. I, it's I did not. I want to clarify. I did not call it. The the guy said this is called the star bus, and they call that the star bedroom. Yeah, that's yeah. like what it's actually called. Mm-hmm. I didn't say I'm the star, and I, now it's the star I didn't bedroom. I came up with the name. I just said you repeatedly call it that. Yeah, because it is. It is the star bedroom, and I am the star. <laughs> um, no, but I. I mean, I could have also called that. I would have the hardest time, uh, like festivals and stuff. I can never sleep. I. I just have the worst genetics in the world. Like, there's something deeply, deeply <laughs> wrong with me. I know for a fact that there is. Um, but maybe by the end of this tour, I'll be, I'll be Iron Man, and I'll be getting That's through it. That's right, on. though, because we'll get it out of your system because we're going rock climbing in a minute. There's not a fucking chance that we're going rock climbing today. Yeah. Today. Well, this is one of the only chances that we've got to actually do stuff in the day. Mm. Got, got to, got to be for the vlog, right? Leads. Yeah, but what, like uh, one of the only times that we we want to do multiple things for the vlog. Oh, are you being serious? We're going rock climbing. Is that actual like booked and sorted? Not booked, but you've. We... Oh. You should, you should have said it was booked. Oh, no. Oh, can we not do something else? Like what? Rock climbing. I don't fucking know. Go, 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 go on a twenty-minute walk. Yeah, literally. I would so much rather go on a walk. <laughs> I'm sure you would. I've not even had a shower. You I actually think... should go on a walk, by the way. Yeah. A bit of exercise. Yeah. Hey, if we walk oh. to like a rock climbing place or like a gym or something. Oh my god. I've not got any clothing to do these things. That's right, I've got some clothes. Yeah, same. Can it not be tomorrow during the day? No, there's no time tomorrow. No. Why? There, there's just no time. We've got show day. Show day is strict schedules. Oh. And relaxing. I can't have you injured on a show day. Okay. But we can have you injured today. Oh Let's go rock my climbing, god. baby. The last thing I want to do is go rock climbing. You'll like, enjoy it. I will not. Do you think I will actually. Right. If you had to literally bet your life on the fact uh, Max is going to enjoy it or Max is not going to enjoy it, what would you put your life on the line for? I think um, it's an easy. It's no, an easy I, don't, question. I, I don't. I genuinely don't think you will dislike it. I genuinely think you are very wrong. No, but as in, like, it's it's good because it's y- you can go to your skill level however you like, and it's it feels there's it, no it skill feels level like an achievement once you've got to the top, no matter what skill level you are. And it's do you think that I'm the sort of person that gets achievement out of doing physical activities? Well, you haven't historically. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's because you don't finish them, but this there you we can go. Finish today when you get to the top. I'm not getting to the top of anything. So you, with that attitude, you're not going to. Oh my god! How? What even time is it? Do we? A rock climb is seven p.m. How are we going rock climbing today? It closes at ten. What does? Rock climbing. How, what? What? Do you live? What rock climbing place? What is there even a rock climbing place in Glasgow? Yeah, multiple, and they all close at ten. How do you know? I looked it up. <laughs> I don't want to go rock climbing. Why do you make me do these things? Can we do something fun? Like what? Not rock climbing. Okay, I, that wasn't uh, answer to the thing. Like what? Go karting. I would do that. Oh my god, can we all go go karting? I would one hundred percent. I'm begging do that. you. I'm so down. Is that a thing? Callum's the king of go-karting. Let's go go-karting. I would so much rather do that. I mean, I, we let can me go find out. I'm going to go climbing at some point as well. Okay, right. But will you come go-karting for the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But, fine. okay, so th- th- let me rephrase that then. Will you come climbing for the vlog? No. Why not? Because I, I, I just I'll, don't want people to. People would much, much... The way that we can film it will be so much more... Like... It Why? could be anybody in that go-kart. Nobody's going to give a shit watching it. How boring is that for a vlog? We can put a camera on the go-kart. I actually do have a GoPro with me. Well, that's good. But go- Oh, my God. And um, go-kart, we'll, GoPro. Well, have that's we got, a sign. Have we got mics or anything? Mics. Yep, I do. Yeah, I brought mics with me. George, this is See, this, really... This is no, but I, no, 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 hold on. It's so much editing for Charlie for a vlog. It is a lot of editing for Charlie. Okay. As opposed to just More holding audio, a camera at us yeah. while climbing a wall. And he'll have to do that because we've only got one GoPro. Um, audio for both of you. Can I also, just I don't know it on my phone, or is that dangerous? Are you, you can't mental? hold your. F- how the, how <laughs> You're the, gonna be on a go kart. Okay, yeah, maybe go kart. I've never been go karted. I don't know go karts. I don't intense. know what that is. It's intense. Well, yeah. it can be. I'll be your your instructor. It will be. How does he not know these things, guys? What? Who do you think I am? Do I look you like just, a rock you just climbing do anything. go karter? No, you just you just went go kart and I'll do go kart. Yeah, that sounds more fun. I can just sit down and ride a car. That sounds way more fun than climbing a wall. Are you joking? You think you can hold your phone while you're go-kart? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how fast a go-kart goes. 30 to 40 miles an hour. That sounds a bit dangerous. <laughs> Why do you think they give you a helmet? I don't know. 
<laughs> oh my god i need to there eat. is a car in place a and it closes at 11. i just had a look right well you look into logistics of it i'll speak to charlie about filming yeah see what he thinks yeah and i would prefer that to be option one all right well either way once we're done with this i'm gonna i need to go do some exercise of some sort okay you can okay. do that i'll figure out if karting's possible <laughs> yes perfect i do not want to go rock climbing I, really I, I would have done uh, today. I, I, I literally feel like I, I will shit my pants. Like I'm not well. I'm really I can unwell. Bring a doggy bag. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that in my life. I'm so fragile today. Tomorrow I would have done it. Like defo. Like wake up, new day, have a shower, like do whatever. Like I can't stay. I can't do a really like I can't just, just, pull I know, myself just, up just, and then shit just, my pants. Just, just hearing all this, there was no way you were ever gonna do the gym shark challenge, was there? What are, you, what are you talking about? How dare Ooh, you? Are you really going to open up this can of worms now? Well, there so was... what? I did it. I mean, I in my eyes, I did it. I did the 50. And do you know what? We got people in the audience to Sorry, cheer. Sorry, you did the, did the 50. 50, was that you? The 50 that, of the what? 66? I did 50 days. Yeah, of the what? I did challenge? better than I thought that I would have. So no, I'm, I'm I cannot speak about this again. I cannot speak about this again. I want to ask you one question. Oh, I want you to, God, I want you to I'm tell going me home. this. Tell what? me this seriously. Say it. What? Tell me this seriously. I'm serious. Because I will be able to tell from your face, even okay. though that you may deny, 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 deny. Okay. Did you at any point pre-record something when you were at the gym beforehand so you could post it at a later date to make it seem like you'd been to the gym? Yes, once. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got him. But I still did 53 days of the challenge, so that means technically I just did 52. Apart from the four or five it was that we said you didn't post anything and you admitted no, you didn't do anything. No, it wasn't four or five. It was LA. I can't speak about this again. We've spoken we've, about yeah, this we've, we've so I agree. We, many we, we can't I, I agree. I agree. So it, I it at is, least did 50. I think did, we're going to keep I, speaking about this until you admit you failed the challenge. Oh, well, I, yeah, I, I failed the 66-day challenge. I passed the 50-day challenge. You didn't. There was never didn't. a challenge. <laughs> Even if the 50-day one was a challenge, you still didn't pass it. Oh, my God. It. Listen. Right. <laughs> It, it's that was months ago i don't know about you but i just like to get on with my life and go on to the next months day ago. weeks ago maybe maybe a month ago would have just I, finished i don't like to <laughs> it was literally supposed to finish just before tour well, there we go see i like to live in the present and look towards the future i don't like to dwell on the past um look i shit in a bag this morning i've packaged that up literally deposit it i'm gonna move on do you know what i mean that's the sort of person that i am so yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more <laughs> tour, tour excitement coming at you soon. Hopefully, the next time that you see me, I'll have a different life story to tell you um, <laughs> because I, I, w I would have made 100% of a recovery. And He'll have a go karting injury. He'll be in a <laughs> neck brace. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Big up Belfast. Big up Dublin. Stop with the big, big up ups. Glasgow. Love you all. See you soon, Manchester. See you soon, London. See you soon, everyone. Thanks for coming to the Useless Hotline Tour. And there are actually still some tickets available for our final London show, I believe, at this point. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe there is by the time that this comes out. Um, so if you are feeling FOMO of our tour and yeah. want to be involved, then get are them you now. you're getting FOMO from the homo, mm -hmm. get yourself a tour. Mm -hmm. Till the go-go. Yeah. Love you. Bye.